हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ विकास शाक्य आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय चैनल वर्तेता लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म एंड एज यू नो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सॉकेट प्रोग्रामिंग सो दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सॉकेट प्रोग्रामिंग इन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ द सॉकेट प्रोग्रामिंग देन आई डिस्कस्ड इन द सेकेंड वीडियो अबाउट अ प्रोग्राम विच इज अ सर्वर प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट सर्वर प्रोग्राम वी वी रोड सम पोर्शन ऑफ दैट प्रोग्राम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द फर्दर uh coding in this video okay so let's start so in the last video we finished it here after the listen call this was the listen call which will be listening to the active connections from the clients and this is my socket which will be listening over which i will be listening for the new connections okay and then we decided that in next video i mean in the present video i am working on uh in this video we will discuss about how to keep waiting for the new request and how to proceed with this with those requests which are coming okay but before that i would like to discuss few things about the fd set what is this fd set let's go to the header file just press f12 and you will reach to the winsock.h and you can see that it contains two elements the first is unsigned integer fd count which contains the number of file descriptors which we are going to set in this fd set and where we are going to set those socket descriptors we are going to set those socket descriptors in this array fd underscore array okay so in this fd array we are going to provide uh, the number of socket descriptors and uh, how many numbers of socket descriptors for a particular type of socket uh, descriptor are there Th that will be contained in fd count okay so let's see what does that mean so i have declared three variables fr fw and fe fr is the collection of those socket descriptors for which i am ready to read right on which i am reading i am reading over the network this is the set of this will be the set of those socket descriptors or you can say the file descriptors uh, on which we are going to write to the network which are ready to write to the network okay and this is the exception this is the set of those socket descriptors which are throwing some exception due to any error due to any problem like network disconnection or anything which could which could happen over the network okay so this fd set contains uh, the number of socket descriptors and the actual socket descriptors which we, on which we are going to read write or see whether there are any exceptions or not okay so how many socket descriptors suppose we are working on fr i mean the read socket descriptor then how many it can contain it can contain 64 if you press f12 on fd set size then you can see that it, it is 60, 64 so at max you can put 64 socket descriptors or you can say the file descriptor in the fd set okay only 64 and at the same time we need to understand what does this socket means this socket is of type unsigned integer pointer which is in turn an int64 unsigned variable unsigned int64 variable and this one has been used here for socket okay so what does this socket basically what it is pointing to when we are when we are putting the socket descriptor here when we will be putting the socket descriptor here then in that case what will happen that uh, this particular socket descriptor whatever you have placed here that will be a, that will be basically a set uh, that will be maintained within a table uh, and uh, and the index of that table i mean uh, the value stored uh, in at a particular index is a socket descriptor and that particular socket descriptor is pointing to an open file descriptor in the kernel basically when whatever we have stored here whenever whenever we create a socket whether socket descriptor or a file descriptor whenever you open a file then that file is a kernel object i am not going to discuss about discuss about the kernel objects here but just remember that kernel objects are something which are created in the kernel memory which are which is separate from the user memory and that is totally uh, maintained by the system it has been exposed to you to some extent through some apis and nothing else so every file or any file descriptor or any socket descriptor that you have opened for reading or writing that is in turn a file in fact that is a file and if you are writing or reading to a file then that file is a kernel object so every stream whether you read or write through on the files or the socket that is a kernel object okay so 
any value which has been placed here that is pointing to a particular location in kernel containing the information about an open connection over the network or you can say a file descriptor this is the basic concept you must know okay about fd set right so how many items we can put into fd set we can put 64 so let's see if we put more than 64 then what will happen suppose i put here fd fd underscore set there is a let me take one variable in n is equal to 100 right and then let's see for in n index is equal to 0 n index smaller than 64 and n index plus plus and then let's try to put it fd underscore set this is the macro using which you can uh, put a particular socket descriptor into a fd set okay so our fd set is our socket descriptor is n socket as of now but no as of now i will use this one socket descriptor we will use later when we will write our original program but as of now i'm just trying to show you something regarding the socket descriptor so just put it here n and then address of fr okay and then let's do the same thing to print it first we are putting it then we are trying to print it what we will do see out then provide the value fr dot fd array and n index okay and before that just print c out endl and fr dot fd count okay and then just give one more endl okay so now let's see what happens and at the same time let me put it n plus plus let's see what happens what i what i'm doing here i will i will increment the n every time i'm setting it to the fd set okay i'm putting the value into fr which is the file descriptor set and let's see this macro as well you can see this macro you can put f12 press f12 when you can see that what it is actually doing right and if you can understand this i hope you can understand this then you will be able to understand what is the output so you can pause your video for a while and then you can check your output whether it is working fine or not i mean if it is match if it matches with your output or not okay so let's see i'm incrementing this n and putting this n again back to the fd set fr and then i'm printing how many items are there and then i'm printing the original content inside the array so let's see what happens just press f5 and let's see what happens okay so you can see that the count is 64 and then it has printed all the values 100 101 up to 163 if we are starting from 100 and we are ending at 163 then what does this mean this means that there are 64 elements and if you will try to put any more socket descriptor in this this will not print it this will not throw any exception this will not give any message error message it will just not add it okay so let's see what i'm trying to say here let's see i'm going to put it like 99 right then let's see what will happen just press f5 it's a bit slow let me start again again press f5 and let's see what happens so you can see that is still the count is 64 
and the number of uh, socket descriptors that we are printing here they are still 100 to 163 okay so this is the way your socket descriptor set works right and what does that socket descriptor means that means that it is pointing to a particular kernel object and that particular kernel object is opaque opaque means you cannot see through it you cannot assess it directly it's abstracted okay so this is the way fd set works this was the main concept regarding the fd set and let's move ahead now with our original task here okay so before i move ahead with the original task let me uh, tell you one more thing there is a call system call select that we use to wait for all these uh, socket descriptors select system using the select system call we wait on these socket descriptors read write and exception okay and this sock this select system call tells us that how many socket descriptors are ready to read how many of them are ready to write and how many of them are throwing the exception okay so how it does let's see that before that i need to tell you one more thing and and max ft let's declare it on the top let me tell you what is the meaning of declaring this variable and what i'm doing here i'm doing like n m max fd is equal to n socket plus one what is n socket this is the n socket this is n socket this one through the socket system call we got a socket descriptor this n socket this is the original socket on which we are going to read read what we are going to read a new incoming connection any request for a new incoming connection okay but why i'm uh, putting it plus one i should not put plus one here in fact this max fd i need to provide to select system call and with the select system call i need to add plus one to this n max fd okay i need to put this n max fd to the socket system uh, to the select system call why because of this fd set and the limitation in this fd set that you can have only these many number of socket descriptors so i need to provide plus one whenever i call select system call then what i will do select n max fd plus one and then i will provide read socket descriptor then i will provide write socket descriptor and then i will provide f w f e the exception and then i need to provide time value what is time value let me declare it struct time val tv we are we will be providing the timeout we will be providing the timeout here that for how many how much time i need to wait to see if any of these are ready so i'm going to give it like tv dot t second is equal to one for one second and then i don't need to provide any uh, microseconds so just need to provide a zero so i will be waiting for one second to see whether my read socket or write socket or the exception throwing sockets are ready or not whether they contain anything or not okay but before i call this select i need to set i need to set my socket descriptor to the particular fd set so this is the macro i need to use and i'm going to just provide it n socket and then address of fr okay and at the same time i can just do one thing fd n socket and address of fe uh, yeah fe so this socket this listener socket which i have found uh, using the system uh, using the socket system call that can only be added to the read set of socket descriptors and exception set of socket descriptors i am not going to use it for writing so i am not adding the uh, the particular socket descriptor for write set i am not going to add it for fw okay so you can leave that you can just say that fd underscore zero for all the socket descriptors address of fr you should do it first before anything so fd underscore zero its address of fr 
then fw, then f exception. So you just need to write like this. Okay, so this is the way you first clear all these things and then you just do fd set. Okay, so before select call, let us print this. fr dot fd count. I'm just doing it for fr. Fe will be same, right? So before call, before, before select call, before select call, fd count is this much. And after the select call, let us see whether it remains same or not. ENGL after we select call fd dot fr dot fd count okay so let's see what happens so you can understand this one so here in time interval i have told you that i'm waiting here for one second to see whether my read descriptor is ready or not whether my write descriptor is ready or not and so on and what is the return value if n rate is equal to 0 sorry greater than 0 then it means that these many number of uh, socket descriptors are ready for read write or throwing the exception if it is greater than 0 if it comes some number then it means that uh, then it means that it is containing the number of those socket descriptors which has something to do for on which we have something to do okay this is the case when someone connects or communicates with a message over a dedicated connection okay else if n rate is equal to 0 then no connection or any communication request made or you can say that none of the sockets descriptors are ready okay so if my select function doesn't fail and there are there is nothing on the port there is no one trying to connect to us there is no one trying to send any message to us then in that case it will return zero it will not fail else else means anything other than this and this i mean minus one if select function fails then it returns minus one in that case it failed and your application should show some useful message Okay. Okay. So if n rate is equal to zero, then it should print nothing on port. And what is the port number? You can print it like this. I have provided the port number. You can remember from previous video. Okay. So let's see what happens. So let me uh, revise once again what I'm going to do. I have set the FD set here for f read and f exception for the n socket because it cannot be i'm not using it for writing okay so then next one is uh, i have tried to find out how many fd how much uh, fds have been set before select call and then i have printed that how many fds are set after the select call right i will tell you why i have done this I'm just trying to run it and let's see what is the output. 
again there is some problem it's a bit slow so let's run it again okay so you can see that before select call the count is one but after select call the count becomes zero so it means there is something inside the select call happening and what is that happening you must need to remember this that whenever you call the select function and before the select function returns it clears all these socket descriptor sets so you need to again set them in the same manner right if you are going to again to wait for uh, read write or exception descriptors then in that case you again need to set all this right as of now i am not putting i have not placed it in, inside a uh, you know uh, inside a loop so that's why it has called only once and it showed me nothing on port let me see what happens nothing on port 9909 you can see there was a message right so there was nothing on the port so this function call doesn't fail basically there is nothing to read on any of the socket descriptors on the port 9909 on which this application is basically running this service is basically running okay so what i need to do if i need to keep waiting for the incoming connections then you can understand that i need to put all these things all this code inside a while loop okay so this is the while loop and i need to put it here okay so i have placed it inside the while loop so in this case what will happen it will keep waiting over these until some new connection comes until some client comes since we have not written any code for any client i don't have any client to connect to this application so it will keep printing nothing on port and it will keep printing that fd count becomes zero after the select call but again before i select call again i have just placed all these socket descriptors back to the select call okay so it will it will not fail next time the select call in the next call will not fail because if your fd count becomes zero after select call then it will fail if you want to see this just comment this uh, not just comment this just place it outside the loop you can understand what i'm trying to do here i have placed it outside the loop so that inside the loop it is not able to set it again so what will happen in the next call it will just fail and it will print i failed so after one message saying nothing on port the next message should be i failed okay so let's see okay so it is inside the loop that's why it is continuously running so let me just uh, put it like int n is equal to, not int n just put like sleep here so that we can see the result we just sleep for 2 seconds and let's see what it does okay so before call it was one nothing on port this and after the call zero before select call is zero it failed i failed right so if you just left all these socket descriptors unset after the select call select call just unsets it we have seen that so if you have left them as it is then the next call will surely fail and it will give you this result and you need to close your application basically i need to put exit zero here exit one here sorry exit failure which is minus 1 okay so now it will work fine okay so after this second select call it will fail and it will just close the application 
So what is the fix? The fix is just put this inside the while loop. Okay, and then see, it will never fail. It will just keep printing in every two seconds. Before select call one, nothing on port 9909. And again, nothing on port. So it is working fine because it is not failing. Basically, it is just trying to poll on a particular port on which this uh, application is running to see whether there is something or not. Okay. So guys, uh, our server is almost ready. I will just remove all this messy code in the next video. So till then you can try it yourself. And uh, one more video I will take to complete my server. And after that we will create the client and we will see how the client and server interacts. Okay. So within next two or three videos we will cover all the communication thing between a server and client i hope you are clear about the concepts that i'm trying to explain here if no then in that case you can just put a comment okay and uh, just share the videos just like the video and uh, subscribe my channel you will find lot many things which are useful for you and uh, uh, till the next time we meet bye bye and have a nice day